Good, 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 good. I got him, I got him. You have to live up to the name, right? It's Hero. He has this amazing confidence about him that's very genuine. He loves people. As soon as he started to walk, he was running after the tennis ball, he was running after the soccer ball, he was chasing them. Everyone, every boy in Germany plays soccer, every single one. And I was always like a chubbier kid, so I remember me walking, like running last. It ended up not working out for me since I was a bigger guy, and that was always a foul on the play. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So hold Coach Ruzier, our, our head football coach, and Sean Embry, our assistant head football coach, early on in their careers, they before they came to San Margarita, they were working in, in coaching football in Germany and in Europe. Brandon Collier, he and I were college roommates. Brandon was the first really to help kids go directly from Europe to college. We go around country to country all through Europe. We can help guys from over 25 countries, roughly 90 kids that's playing college football in America. I got introduced to Hero by one of the, another kid that I was helping named Philip Oconco from the same village that Hero grew up in. Good, Hero. I was just playing soccer a little bit, kicking around with the ball, and he was throwing the football against the post. I was like, let me try that. I mean, he was already 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 260 pounds, and he can move great because the soccer over there, um, the footwork from soccer, just the overall strength from the Nigerian background that he has as well. And I was like, I got to step my game up a little bit. I got to get better, like, got to get better in the language, like school, get adjusted to that, and just a normal football life. First, I was a little bit afraid, but this is a chance you don't get it a second time, so we sent him. So there's a lot of paperwork in terms of the U.S. State Department and the visas and things like that. That that's actually was the easier part. More importantly was it was in the middle of COVID. And so he did his first semester of his junior year online and on a different time zone. School day started at 5 p.m. and it ended at midnight and I still had homework to do. So I stayed up late to like 3 a.m. Coming here alone, I didn't know anybody. And here comes this kid, this big smile up the driveway. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Pierce, Mrs. Pierce. Thank you for giving me a place to live. That gratitude really brought a light into our house. Imagine being 16 and living in another country during COVID. The strength, the fortitude that he has, that his mom has, the trust, the faith, the patience. Because of all this COVID stuff, I had to follow his games and his life from Germany. And Judith actually caught COVID in December, and that was kind of a sobering moment. I spent a lot uh, of time in the hospital. I think he was afraid, of course. It's like you have to make sacrifices to achieve greatness in your life, and that's what I'm seeking. I'm, I'm seeking for greatness. Everybody's always talking about pushing their physical limits, but not their, their mind. And that's, I think, one thing that helped me so much in this process. I push my limits from like my mindset. There was definitely an adjustment period in the beginning. What was so cool to see, though, was just how fast he got things and how he progressed. But I think the thing that we're all most proud of here is that he got elected to be a, a captain and, and to earn the, the respect of his peers. And for a kid who really should be a junior in high school based on his age, coming from another country, I mean, that's a really impressive feat to achieve. My son is playing linebacker behind him on this team and just talks about what a positive role model. He roots for the underdog, he roots for the freshmen, he's high-fiving them on the sidelines. He roots for the kids that aren't necessarily as talented as he is. All of these kids became my brothers. If I had problems, I went up to a teammate and talked to them, so I just want to see them being successful. Very first not American being elected to the American Bowl. I mean, it's an all-American game, and I'm not even American. And I really feel honored and blessed to come. If you ask Hero if this experience is, is just for him, I think the answer back would be something like, he's doing this for himself, for his family, for PPI and Brandon, helping build something that's bigger than him. I just think that he's gonna impact so many people's lives, not only here in America, but I mean, from the culture in Germany, to make young kids believe Hero Kanu can do it, I can do it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.